Hello. Hello to all of you. Welcome. My name is Maybe, and today we're going to be continuing on playing some Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. So we just got information from Nettie. And now we have to go find Halson. There's something in that vessel. Take hmm? a closer look. What vessel? This one? Can we be seen? I don't want to steal something. Was it that one? Oh. Consume. The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. Oh, weird. Okay. I'll have that. Just one look. I will take a quick look at the notes, though. And nominal sketches of the tadpole and the drow. Parasite is deep within the brain matter. Oh, that sounds great. Unaware, yeah. Well, alive. No visible signs of seromorphosis. Altered. Interesting. Looks like Halson's our best bet for a cure. Another hastily written note. Netty, I entrust you Time with the circular to open the library. Talk to Ra. Assuming he's still alive. Okay. Speculation will get um, us nowhere. Ooh, hey. Let's go oh, find wait. him. I can't steal those. I don't want to be a thief. I already stole the parasite. Can't right, we're gonna down. go find Zevlor, talk to them. We also have to go after Halson, and I think no. the whole thing with Zevlor and Halson and everything is kind of connected, so. Let's see if there's anything in here. Can we steal anything? Um. Mm. Lots of stuff, but I don't want to be a thief. Yeah, no, that's a lie. I definitely want to be a thief, but I shouldn't be a thief. But I do want to talk to the puppy. What's up for puppy. discussion? Puppy, puppy, puppy. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? I just wanted to give you my smell. I'll leave you. No, me. wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay if you must. Puppy. <laughs> Okay, so yes, talk to Zevlor. He's probably out here. Damn it. I guess he's a bard. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Change? No. Damn it. Hmm. Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't nothing fits, you know? Hmm. I'll try and help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Hmm. Not an encouragement and gesture to her loot. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last 
light down. Yes! Yes! I'm sorry. That was really nice. Cry as much as you need. She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. She came up with a fine tribute to her. Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. That's true. I've forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Glad that I could help. Makes me happy. Now I'm gonna steal. I don't want an apple. Never mind. Oh, hey, wait. Over here. A chest. Keep your Come here, Asterion. Lock that. Crunch. Unlock that for me. Um. Let's see if we can just do it without any extra bonuses. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Asterion. Appreciate it. Cap of Curing. We can inspire an ally. Oh, so it's. Yeah, I'll take it and we can sell it. Oh, hey, there's something down here. Hmm. A little bear friend. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who are you looking Master, for? He left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones. And I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. Aww. Oh, you know what? Don't worry. He'll be back. Oh, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for Master. Oh, poor bear. Thank you. I'm definitely going to take that. Quick check to make sure there's no other treasures or anything. I don't think I can get over there. I don't think I can jump over there. No. This is why you gotta check all the little nooks and crannies that you can. Because you can get to more places in this game than it seems. Right, I wanted to go talk to Zubler now. Bear. I'd totally fight a bear. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. <laughs> Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Oh, cool. What's this? Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, he's a merchant too. I don't really want to purchase anything from the kids though, because something tells me that that's going to end up with, you know, the kids having stolen items or something. Um. Yeah, I might ask Will to join my party, but I can only have a certain number of people in the party, so I'm gonna say goodbye to Gale. I've never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here, seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Mm, that makes Sense, but I need to go I to camp. Question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. We'll travel again later. I'll be in the camp then. 
idling away the hours. We'll talk to Will. And again. Swing and swing and Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. No. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. That's good advice. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. I was on that ship, and it sucked. Um, yeah, so we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Hmm. Hunting in the hell's dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Well, um, how will we cure your infection before you go do that? Let's partner up. <laughs> I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. Ready when you are. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> this is going to be a fun journey. Mm, they're all so sassy. Children, look who's here. And look who's leaving. Goodbye. Um. Right, looking at my mini map, looks like they're over here. I thought I heard somebody mention lockpicks. I'm like, who knows? Who knows that I stole? All right, I can upgrade him. Okay. Spells. Yeah, Hellish Rebuke. I like that one. I don't even need to look at the rest. Hmm. Don't really need be speech because I already have that. Ooh. So it might be nice to be able to see, have somebody see in the dark because I don't think any of the rest of the people that I have right now in the party will have that. Especially because I know I want to change the stereo now later. Let's see. What else? I think I'll do Agonizing Blast. Yeah. Except. Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blades. 
Don't you like to spoil me? I know you have it. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. It was his caravan. Who's shouting? Talk I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Yeah, do not touch the child. You threatening me. Yeah, you're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. Um Understand the kid stole my locket. He go oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. Because they're children. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> Best Naughty little shit. We don't threaten children. Zeppler, I heard awesome. what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Is there any way to delay the ritual? I mean, I tried to you ask them, but if he knows. willing to do to a child just for trying. Fair it's enough. Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. I really shouldn't encourage getting rid of her, but like, I'll ask the question anyways. Sword. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. Mm, I'm I'm not the murderer for hire. Well me either. But to get these people to safety, there's nothing I won't do. You'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway you, there's nothing more to discuss. No, I wanted to talk to you about. Our time grows short. If Korga will abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. Surely your people can fight off a few goblins. These are civilians. <laughs> Open battle would be a massacre. Okay, so, well. Korga's twisted your mind as well. No, Please, I'm sorry. Just listen. Sending us out there is a death sentence. But there is another way. If you want to turn your blade on anyone, turn it on the goblins. You won't be able to cut them all down. There's a horde of them out there. But they're ill-disciplined. It's unusual for them to organize so cleverly. Fair Somebody enough. must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him. And we sentence these people to die. I mean, fair enough. I'll see what I can Everyone do to kill in the this leaders. Camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Can I steal the stuff in your chest? No. Okay. Uh, oh, it looks. Commander. Just Zevlo. That's cool. So it looks like I can exit here or over there, but I think I'll exit over here because it seems neater. Anything over here I can sneakily steal? 
No. Not so oh wait, we can steal some of the stuff in here. Uh, but there's nothing. Okay, we'll just leave then. Ooh. Interesting. Take that, thank you. I don't think we can go down this way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to head out and find Helson and hopefully that'll stop the druids from closing the grove, at least immediately. At least buy the tiefling some time to get together. Maybe while we're finding Halston, we can deal with the, uh, some, at least some of the goblins and help the tieflings even more.